The Journey of a Lifetime. These are some wise men. We don't know how many there actually were. The Bible doesn't say. But I've got four. What are they looking at? Why aren't they looking at the camera and waving hello to us? Something has grabbed their attention, hasn't it? I wonder what it is. Let's see if we can see. Wow! That's incredible! I can see why the wise men weren't paying us any attention. That star is much more impressive. OK, so that star is amazing. But it's more than just amazing, isn't it? It means something. Now, these wise men, they are wise. That's how they got their name. And do you know what they're thinking about right now? They're thinking about a prophecy that tells them of a king that will be born. We have to go and find him. We can't dilly-dally round here all day long. Right then, twenty minutes to have a quick shower and pack. Then we'll meet round the front by the camels, OK? Um, wouldn't it be good to take some gifts to this child? He is a king, after all. That's a good idea, isn't it? I wonder what they could take. I've got some frankincense. Frankincense? is a beautiful smelling oil, and it was also used in the Old Testament, where they would burn it before the altar, so it was a holy offering. I've got some myrrh. Myrrh is a fragrant spice. They used to use it to anoint kings and priests, and also when they prepared bodies to be buried. I've got some gold. Well, you know what gold is, don't you? It's gold. Right. Well, you've got your gifts, and you've got a long journey ahead of you. Off you go, then. Ride safely. What do we have here? Oh, shh. He's having a snooze. Let's not make too much noise. I expect he's very tired. Oi, wake up! What on earth is that? It's an angel. Don't be afraid. Well, I might not have been if you hadn't blown that noisy trumpet. I've got great news for you. The Messiah has been born in Bethlehem. You should go and see him. All right, this is great news. The Messiah born in Bethlehem. Right, I'm off. Right, now you listen up, you sheep. I've got to go away for a bit. Now you behave yourselves while I'm gone, OK? Off he goes. I hope those sheep are going to be OK on their own. Hmm, yes, anyway... I suppose we'd better see how our wise men are getting on. Ah, here they are, well on their way. It's a long journey. Sometimes it's nice and flat. Sometimes they've got hills to go up. Sometimes they've got hills to come down. And then sometimes it's nice and flat again. When it's dinner time, they eat. When it gets to night time, they rest. And then they're back on the road again. Nearly there now. But what about our shepherd? Oh dear, his donkey doesn't seem to be behaving itself. Wrong way, donkey! Turn back around! Oh, this does look like hard work for the shepherd, doesn't it? 
still nearly there now. At last, here we are in Bethlehem, the journeyman's final destination. I wonder who it is they've actually come to see, and I wonder where he is in the city. Oh, that's nice. A palace, a perfect place for a newborn king. Oh. Oh, well, well, that's still nice. A lovely, cosy place for the Messiah to be born. Oh. A pub? Surely not a pub. Oh, thank goodness for that. The stable behind the pub? You're not serious. You are? Really? Ah, it's Jesus with Mary and Joseph. That's who the shepherd and the wise men are coming to see. Jesus is the wonderful king who was prophesied about. And Jesus is the Messiah that the shepherd was told about by the angel. Oh, look, here comes the shepherd now. I see he's left his donkey outside. Good idea. Here's the shepherd come to worship Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Look, the wise men are here now. I see they've left their camels outside too. That's a good idea. And they've brought their gifts. Do you remember what they were? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What a journey these people have had, haven't they? The wise men came from a long way away to meet the king of kings. The shepherd left his sheep so he could come to see his messiah. Jesus must be very, very special if they were prepared to do that. And you know what? He is special.